Hi guys, so a few days ago a viewer by the name of Christian Fiebig left me a comment on my teardown video of this LaVolta power supply. He had a few issues with his unit and took it apart and noticed something peculiar. He noticed that on the display board the polarity of the wires is switched because the yellow wire goes to V- and the black wire goes to V+. And if you take a look where these wires go you can see by the terminals that the yellow wire, which is this one, goes to the positive terminal, which is this one. See it up front. Positive, ground, negative. The yellow wire goes to the positive terminal and the black wire goes to the negative terminal. It's difficult to see, but it goes all the way to the negative terminal. Christian also put the images he took online, so you can see for yourself so as you can see, yellow wire goes to the positive terminal, black wire goes to the negative terminal and on the display board they are seemingly switched up. The yellow wire which goes to the positive terminal is connected to V- and the black wire which goes to the negative terminal is connected to V+. And he was wondering why they did this and if I have any possible explanation for this. But I couldn't come up with a better reason other than it's just the simplest way to do it. I know at first glance it seems counterintuitive, but if you take a closer look at the design you can see why this is just the easiest way to implement this display. You have your positive output from the transformer and the rectifier, which then goes through the power transistors, the 2N3055s, then through the shunt resistor, which is 0.9 ohm, then through your load, and then goes back to the transformer. The display board itself has its own power taps from the transformer and is independent from the power board. And in order to measure amperage and voltage with the same board, they just reference the ground from the display board to the positive terminal of the power supply. And this is the easiest way to measure both amperage and voltage with one display board. Because if you would do it otherwise and connect the ground of the display board to the ground of the power supply itself and to the negative terminal, you could measure the voltage without any issues. But you would get an issue with measuring the amperage because the output from the shunt resistors would float depending on the voltage you selected for your load. So if you selected 10 volts for your load, the input for the amperage display would be 10 volts plus the voltage drop across the shunt resistors. So this now creates an issue because of the variable voltage for your load. The input signal for the amperage display floats around accordingly. I'm sure you could make it work, but this scenario would require a lot of trickery with the reference voltage for the amperage readout. So connecting the ground of the display board to the positive terminal of the power supply solves this issue. Because now you have a common point for your amperage measurement and your voltage measurement. So both the voltage and the amperage AD converters reference to the same point. But that also means that the voltage readout should be negative, and it is but the display doesn't have a sign and so you don't see it and I can show you why. Before I go back to the display board I'd like to show you the pinout of the ICL7107 display driver with AD converter so you know what I'm talking about when I show you the display board itself. Here we have pin 27 for polarity, we have pins 38 and 39 for inputs and pins 43 and 44 for reference voltage. You have your pins for the display itself positive voltage supply and your negative voltage supply and your ground pin and some oscillator pins but other than that there's really not that much to this chip. So now we have the display board itself and I have my multimeter. I'm gonna put it in continuity and turn on the continuity buzzer so you hear it if I connect them. So now this is pin 38, input low, which is connected to ground as you can hear. This is positive, which goes through this resistor, goes through this resistor, uses this capacitor, goes through this resistor and goes to this voltage divider. This is a 1 mag resistor, this is a 10k resistor, and if you drop the zeros, that's a ratio of 100 to 1. So your input voltage of let's say like 30 volts will get divided by 100 and at this point 
it's only 300 millivolts. And because this is a truly differential input, you can come in with a negative voltage in here. And this chip can display a negative input. For that it uses the pin 27, which is this one. But this pin isn't connected to anywhere on this display, because on this display you only have your three digits, but no sign anywhere. So even though this might measure minus 30 volts, it only displays the 30 volts, because it can't display the sign. And this is possible because the 7107 has a truly differential input, like any other op-amp, and this chip does of course need a negative voltage supply. It gets its positive voltage from this 7, 8 or 5, 5 volt regulator, but the negative voltage is created by this charge pump over here, which is driven by, by the oscillator pins. This negative voltage supply is also used by the other chip, so they only have one of these in here. And they only need one of these because the current consumption of this chip is like less than 2 milliamps. So now I'm going to plug in the power supply and power it up and show you how that works. So now I have the power supply running and I'm going to select maybe 15 volts. As you can see on the... Yeah, close enough. That's 15 volts. And if I measure on the display board from display ground to the voltage divider, I get minus 150 millivolts, which is what we would expect because of the 100 to 1 voltage divider and the reverse polarity on the input. I can't measure any closer to the input pin because now my multimeter provides a significant additional load to this input circuitry. So I can only measure up to the voltage divider. So now to the polarity output pin. I'm gonna in resistance and if this pin was active it would actually pull to ground and as you can see the resistance to ground is very low only 283 ohms which would light up the LED with roughly like 8 milliamps which is the specified current sync capability of this chip per pin which means that this chip is actually displaying minus 15.2 volts and as you can see, the negative input pin for the amperage is also connected to the ground of the board. Uh, my, finger, my hand is in the way, so you can't see. But now, yeah. So that's really all that is to it. They just need a common reference point for the amperage and the voltage readout. And that's why they reference the display board ground to the positive terminal. I can show you now. I'm gonna plug in my negative lead into the output terminal and touch it to the output of the voltage regulator and as you can see and as you can see it's 5 volts. If I plug the negative lead to the negative terminal it's the selected voltage of 15 volts plus the voltage regulator 5 volts. And if I change the voltage, the voltage of the voltage regulator, of course, changes accordingly. Because the ground of the display board is referenced to the positive terminal, not the negative. This is as high as it will go, and also as low as it will go. So, yeah, that's the mystery behind this. That's it. If you have any other questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. If you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. That's it for this video. See you another time. Bye.